Oh, you're recording. Turn it off. Alright guys, today we're doing a LEGO set review on 75235 X-Wing Starfighter Trench Run with over 132 pieces, 3 figures, and then 2 like main builds I would say. So the box from the front cover has the uh, frig figures, except R2-D2 which is weird, they usually show all the figures and they don't for this one. We have Luke Skywalker, the Stormtrooper, the Death Star Cannon, and the X-Wing. The back of the box has... Um, the, three, the three figures, the, the X-Wing, the Death Star Cannon, the, um, they show you like the build, the weapons that they use, and the generator. The top of the box has Luke Skywalker and stuff. The bottom of the box has the bottom of, and then the sides of the box have that. So the instructions are of course the same. They just basically the cover of the box, nothing special there. And then let's get into the set. All right, so the first figure we have up is R2-D2. Um, he has updated piece modeling right here compared to the old one. Uh, the head's different from printing all around. The uh, two pieces right here are the same. The print on the front's updated and then there's nothing on the back. So that's the new one. And then of course I have the old one right there for a nice comparison. So this one's a little different. A little older piece, not as much detail. And that's the old R2-D2 compared to the new one. All right, next up, we have a Luke Skywalker. So he has a lightsaber piece. Cool, little updated lightsaber. Um, helmet, cool helmet. He's got the resistance. TIE Fighter Helmet, he has his face, so he has two faces, one side with the goggles up, and then the other face where his goggles are down, he's like got a smiling face almost or something. The print, he has his uh, chest piece, um, his little like um, breathing device, I don't really know what that is. Back he has like his belt, his print right back here. In front of the legs, he has all this detail, right there we have detail. And then he has black arms. And then that's really it for Luke Skywalker. Next character. Alright, the third figure we have is a Stormtrooper. So I picked this guy last because, in my opinion, he's the best character. The print on the helmet is definitely better from the old one. He has print right here from the chest piece. The leg printing. He has the thermal detonator with his more back chest printing. He has his legs, normal white legs. His blaster is right there, just normal, average blaster. All his black arms stuff, the head, got some deep molding right there, and some printing on his face. And then he has the normal angry face. So then him compared to the normal one, which looks like this. So they're definitely a lot different. A lot, um, this one's definitely better. This one also has no face, so... That's just something to note. And then that's all three of the figures. Alright, so the first part of the set we have is the X-Wing. So this build was super simple for me. Um, it has the two cannons right here, which you can move all the way up that far. And then you can set them back down, make it look like the normal X-Wing. Like this. Put it in attack mode. You can put it in just its normal flying mode. And then these wings also move up the same height as the other ones. So, that's it. Oh, they have two little, the engines back here and stuff. Uh, there's a little clip for the lightsaber, which is actually really nice. So, if I take Luke Skywalker, and I take his lightsaber, I can actually clip it right there. And it's a nice little holder. Some people might not like that. I actually think it's really nice, and it's a good way to hold it. Uh, the front, they have a sticker. No, that's a printing piece, my bad. Uh, we have more printing right over here, normal Lego pieces. The cockpit opens up like that. You can take Luke Skywalker or whatever pilot you really want to put in there. Printing right there, may I add. And you put him right there, close to the cockpit, and he can be flying up. Uh, that's really it for the X-Wing. There's not much. The back, the bottom, has normal long flat piece. These uh, little wings with the 
um, techno to clip on. Then the same thing with this side. That's really it for the X-Wing. We have print pieces right here, print right here, and that's it for the X-Wing. Alright, so the final item we have is, the, of course, the Death Star Cannon. So the Death Star Cannon is really nice. Starting off with the front this piece. I don't know if it's just my model that breaks off or if I built this wrong. You have the two little, um, I want to say like generators, kind of, is what they look like. This is the main generator. We'll get into that later. And you can put these right here. And then, of course, if you want to, you, they're meant to be popped off. So you can take the X-Wing and you can shoot them or whatever when you're playing with it. And you can pop them off and stuff, which is really nice. Put those back on top of there. So, front we have a little control panel where you can put the stormtrooper where he's controlling it like that and then the generator can also come off you can take the generator off there's a little spot for it right there so you can put the generator back on that's really it nothing really else here um the back the bottom of it normal big pieces the back has this really nice thing and then the turret so, so the turret can move a full 360 degrees these things can move all the way down until they touch one of the items um this little thing right here you can shoot this and shoot it like right there so they give you a couple extras to do so that's really cool and that's really it for the uh to start cannon all right so we're at the end of the video so my final thoughts on this set are it's a decently good set i would give it a four out of five and the reason i'm doing that is because the luke skywalker figure is great the r2d2 i feel like we didn't need him uh that brings it down a little bit the x-wing design is could have been better i would say it's good but it's just too tiny and the cockpit just looks really weird on it the death star cannon's fine i love the way this is the cannons i guess a well, cannon's actually good and then of course the stormtrooper is perfect again this is a four and up set so it's really meant for kids you can get the set for them and then that's really it for this review hope you guys enjoyed the video action pack out